Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. Today we are going to learn remaining SVG element shape that is polygon, polyline and path. If you haven't watched the first part of SVG graphic stack video, do watch. You will get better idea of what are SVG element and why we need to use them. For this session, I have created separate SVG tag to HTML file and added doc type structure. So friends, let's start understanding how we can use polygon element. Polygon element defines closed shape. It is used to create a graphic that contains at least three sides. Polygon consists of straight lines. So the last point is connected to the first point. Let's start with the addition of SVG element. I'm adding height and width attribute to define the size of polygon shape. You can give any number inside of width and height attribute. So currently I'm adding 200 and 200 values. Then we'll add polygon element. Inside polygon element, you need to mention points attribute. This attribute defines the list of points required to draw the polygon and these points are mentioned in pair of x and y coordinates. Currently we are drawing triangle, so let's add x and y coordinates of a triangle inside points attribute. You can see a triangle shape on our browser. Let's style the triangle shape with a different color and stroke attributes. For this, I am adding fill stroke and stroke with attribute. You can see I have added red and yellow color inside fill and stroke attributes. Let's see the result on a browser. Likewise, you can create different shapes with the polygon element. Let's jump to next polyline element. Polyline element is a used to create any shape that consists of only straight line that is connected at several points. So typically polyline element is a used to create open shape as the last point of that shape is not connected to the first point. Let's create shape with polyline element. First we'll add SVG element then polyline element. Inside polyline element we'll add points attribute in a similar way as we have added for polygon element. Pair of x and y coordinates are mentioned inside points attribute. Let's add list of points and see the result on a browser. We'll style this open shape with the fill and stroke attributes. You can see I have added fill and stroke attribute with some values. Let's save and see our styling gets applied to the open shape. Next is path element. Path element represent outline of a shape which can be filled or stroke. Let's start with the addition of SVG element. Inside that we'll add path element. Inside path element we use D property. It is used to specify the shape of path element. There are some commands for including data inside D property. Let's see all commands one by one. M stands for move to. It sets a new current point. L stands for line 2. It draws a straight line. H stands for horizontal line 2. V stands for vertical line 2. C stands for curve 2. It draws a curve using cubic bizarre. S stands for smooth curve 2. Q stands for quadratic bizarre curve. T stands for smooth quadratic bizarre curve 2. A stands for elliptical arc. Z stands for clothes path. It closes the current shape by connecting to the last move to points. So the shape I am creating with the path element, it needs m command and m command comes with the x and y coordinates. Then a command. A command contains rx, ry, x axis rotation, large arc flag, swift flag and x and y parameters. Rx, Ry and X axis rotation indicates how the ellipse is rotated in degrees. Large arc flag and swift flag helps to determine how the arc is drawn. Then we'll add one more A command with same parameters. Then Q command. It takes two parameters, the control point and the end point of the curve. We'll add one more Q command. These are control points and these are end points. And last Z command. It closes the current shape by connecting to the last move to points. Let's save and see the result on a browser. You can see on a browser we have created shape with the path element. 
For path element, there is no need of end tag. So you can just remove the end tag and add forward slash. We'll apply some styling to the path element with the fill stroke and stroke width attributes. Let's save and see the result on browser. So friends, we have seen in this video how to use polygon, polyline and path element to create different shapes. If you like my video, please subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends and families. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.